Hello, Hello everyone, everyone. we're Moss Travely. Today we're going to show you how to make animated brushes in Krita. What are animated brushes? Now, an animated brush is pretty cool. You could do a lot with them. They're kind of like brushes that have multiple layers within it. Mm -hmm. within it. Like a, it's a stamp with multiple layers in mm -hmm. it that can sort of have different effects. Oh, okay. So like you, it'd be like multiple stamps all in one with, and those layers are able to be manipulated uniquely within that one brush. Yes. So for example, you could create flowers, you could create leaves, you could create, you know, sparkles, you could create multiple, you know, you know, shuriken, multiple <laughs> items, right? That you can yes. just sort of like throw down and it'll just become kind of like a randomized stamp or, you know, a time saver basically for yeah. creating, you know, you could, and you yeah. could, you can, you could just like, it, it's really just whatever your imagination makes. Uh -huh. I mean, you could really go crazy with this, yeah, right? you know? Yeah. So it's really kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on uh, what you uh, want to draw within it. it. And you could pretty much draw anything yeah. within it. So that's yeah. what's so fun. So sure again, cool yes. <laughs> there we go, right? Okay. So let's make one. Yes. Okay, here we go. So we're going to show how to make one uh, in black and white and in color. Mm -hmm. So this is our example in black and white and it's um, flowers. And each layer has an individual drawing on it. Mm -hmm. So it's part of what makes this animated stamp Animated work, stamp happen. Right? Yeah. Right. Cool. So you want separate elements, separate layers. Yeah. Cool. Got it. And here is going to be another test that we're going to show you. It's going to be in color. Mm -hmm. So here we have all these different individual layers. So all you have to do is just um, make a new canvas size and then draw your layers exactly. on it. So we're going to show the canvas size. So say you're going to start a new image to make for your stamp brush. The canvas size we recommend is going to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels at 600 pixels per inch. It's just gonna make it really sharp, so when it's really small, it's gonna look good, but when it's really big, it's gonna look good as well. Yeah. So it's kinda of like you're gonna have a really nice sharp image if you use this image size. So just create it, right? Yep. There we go. And typically, in your layers, Docker, you're gonna see that the background is there and it's also locked. You wanna delete this, so you wanna unlock it, and then once it's selected, you can press that trash can and delete it. Now, just to create this image, just to do the walkthrough, you can just press the plus at the bottom of the docker and create as many layers as you would like, you know? So yeah, there you go. Yeah. You start with four, you know, that's a good way to just start out, just that to experiment is. if you're making your own brush. So here we go, right? Yeah. Now, we're gonna do the color brush that we called sprinkles, right? Right, this so okay. this, we're gonna start on this, this example. Here we go. So here we are with this one. <laughs> so we're gonna, going to start by pressing select all. So say you've, you've drawn all your individual um, pictures on your layers and we're going to go to select, select all, mm -hmm. and that's going to have that ant trail around the whole picture. Exactly. And it's also going to have that selection mask yeah. pop up in your layers docker. Yeah. So you know that you're selecting everything. Right. And here we go. Now we're going to use the brush as the foundation, right? So we're going to go into the brush presets, go down to all, we can drop it all the way down to texture. Right, and then we're, we're going to use the brush stamp leaves, and that's going to be found in textures. So it's stamp leaves. You can also um, look it up in the search bar at the bottom of the document. Yeah, right, right here. You can type you it in too. Yeah, so stamp leaves. This is the one we absolutely recommend using. And as soon as you've selected it, you want to go up to the brush editor, right? Yeah. So there we go. Now we're in the brush editor. On the general menu, which is this big long list of stuff, you know, that <laughs> controls the brush, you're going to make sure you're on the brush tip. And also to the left, you want to be in predefined. These are all examples of predefined brush tips and stamps that Krita gives you or the ones you've created. Yeah. And it's okay if yours doesn't look like this. We've downloaded a lot of, mm -hmm. of things and, and made our own stuff. Exactly. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. But to add a new one, you want to go down to the bottom of that where it says plus stamp, because we're, we're making a stamp. Right. You know, that's kind of what it's doing. There we go, right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now, um, what's going to happen is you're going to have sprinkles plus ultra. That's what we're going to call this, but let's give it a, a 
little addition to it maybe or yeah because we've done this a few times we have you know and Krita likes to remember what we do so I'm just gonna call it the feet right because why not okay <laughs> and you want to make sure the create mask from color is ticked off um, the preserve alpha channel is, is ticked off and right down here is the brush styles so in style it would just be re a regular stamp brush but that's not what we're doing so we want to make sure it's set on animation animated yeah. animated and then the selection mode is presently on random, right? So there's multiple different options that you can do. So, you know, when you're making your, your um, animated brush, feel free to experiment. Yes. You know, when you really get the hang of it, um, but we're gonna keep it at random, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, and then press save. Oh, also just don't forget to rename your brush. Mm -hmm. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then save. Rename, mm -hmm. rename the stamp, okay. sorry. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here is the Sparkle Plus Ultra 8, in, in here, so it's selected, and now we're gonna test it on the side. And there's no color. Yeah, so so don't worry, it's no co there's no color, and it's okay too in that thumbnail when we were uh, uploading it that it didn't have all the pictures that we were that we had drawn in. Yes, so, and it was set as a grayscale. Yeah, and you can see that in this example. Yeah, right, right here. here. So it's not exactly what you did in color. Yeah, but that's why you want to make sure you named it the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's the, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just no. how Krita is seeing it. Exactly. Um, so. So this is this color because that's what's chosen over here. Mm -hmm. But we want our stamp to be uh, in the colors that we drew it in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually go over into brush mode over here, mm -hmm. where it says brush mode, and you'll see alpha mask. We're going to change that to color image and click on that. And you'll see too on the top, it changed it right up here. So we're gonna test it on the scratch pad and we go. we've made this stamp. Nice, that's nice. really cool. Very cool. See, there we go, right? Yeah. Once you've actually got this and you like it, you got to name it. So you got to save the new brush preset, right? Yeah. Now that you've got this, right? Yeah, but we also, we have uh, different ways. Oh, we want to show, I'm just so just real quick, we want to show just a little, few examples of how you might want to edit this. Oh, so, if you're using a stylus. Yes. Yeah. So if you're using a stylus and you don't like that, it's maybe... For example, because we're basing it off the stamp leaves brush, you'll notice that uh, the harder you press, um, the, the more opaque it gets. Yeah, and the lighter you press, it's more transparent. Mm. So maybe you don't want that, and you want this to be a fully um, solid, solid opaque image. Yeah, so you just throw it down. So think about it. Right. So to change that, go down here on that general menu on this side. Go down to opacity, mm -hmm. and click enable pen settings. Un uncheck that. And mm -hmm. you could kind of see it changes it on the top here and then test it on the scratch pad. There it goes. And there it is. So it's then now you don't have to worry about it. it it'll be a fully non-transparent image. Super cool. So that's really cool too. You can change the size of this too. So like your oh, pressure yeah. is specific to size as well, right? Yeah. So there's it? a lot of different things. This is cool. Yeah, there. it's really cool. So you can change that. You can change the rotation of it. Mm -hmm. So that's really neat. You can. I think it's in size. If you go into size? the size. Oh, you're right. Down, size. If you go you into actually, size. Yeah, and click the pressure right here, right? Yeah. I think that's easy. And then it, it makes There's it smaller to lighter. The, yeah. So the lighter you press, mm -hmm. the smaller it'll be. And the harder you press, the larger it, the gets. Larger it gets. I like that. That's kind of neat, cool right? Thing. See? So you can just come in here and experiment and figure exactly how you want this to work, right? Yeah. Super cool. So you can you can really just go to town with that and experiment on the side here too. Yeah. So in this, you could also uh, you have rotation on it and it could make it more random. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't like it, you can undo that. Yeah. You could, there's so many um, options or scatter. Mm -hmm. So it's scatter just, just makes it even more random. It's like really all over the place. Yeah. yeah. So you can really have fun with this. Mm -hmm. cool. We're going to... Uh, keep it to this just to yeah. give an example. What do you I think? like it. I like it that way. Like it? That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Super nice. So we're going to save this new brush preset. So once you get the brush to what you like, go up to your save new brush preset mm -hmm. and we're going to rename this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call this, what do you think? Hmm. Stamp. How about Animated sparkles. Sparkles. Right, there we go. Yeah. 
Super cool. Animated sparkles. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. You can call it whatever you'd like. Yeah, you can. You could yeah. really call it whatever you want. Yeah. You and now we're going to. Give it a number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could just give it a number and make it simpler. Yeah. yeah. So you can. Uh, now we want to change this icon here. So we're going to go load from icon library. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to scroll mm -hmm. all the way down. Do you see that little brown stamp? There yeah, we go. right here. Press so we're going okay. to press OK. And now here is where we're going to show in this area the example of what this brush looks like. Mm -hmm. so I like it. That's cool. It's cool. So okay. let's use that. And then now we press save. save. Super nice. We okay. just, we just, just did, did it. it. Just made that happen. Yes. Right. So you just okay. made your first brush. And now you're like, where, where is it? Where's mm -hmm. the brush that I just made? You can look. Um, you can look for the brush you just made. Um, you can go into all. Oh, there oh, it is. See, in this case, because it was A. Th there it is, because it is an alphabetical. Yeah, it's an <laughs> it's an alphabetical. So, uh, if you need to to search for it and you're not finding it, go into the search bar and type in the the name of your brush, yeah, yeah. and then you can right click <clears throat> and assign it to a tag to find it easier. So we're gonna put that into textures. So now this brush will be in textures. So we'll go into textures. There it is. There it is. Animated mm -hmm. sparkles. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not to be confused with jelly, jelly bean, bean stars. stars. <laughs> that was when we were in, it really took us a while to figure out how to do this because even in the manual for Krita, when you go to their website, it actually is a little confusing. Yeah. So that was the reason why I wanted to do this video. Cause yeah, because it's kind of vague. <laughs> it's vague and yeah, it's got a little bit of like, hmm, that didn't work. So, okay, now we're gonna make the black and white one, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. So here we go, we're gonna mm -hmm. do this one. So we have multiple layers on this one. And mm -hmm. Just like the other Just one, like right? the other one. And we're gonna select all. Right? Yeah, go okay. up to there, select all. Boom. And you've got your selection mask right prompt there. up right there. And then you've got the little, the little ants thing. crawling around the perimeter. Right? Yep. We're gonna use the one we just made, right? Or are we gonna start from scratch and go straight into um, the leaves one? Oh, we can just favorite. go start from scratch with the leaves one, but we could mm -hmm. just uh, do it from this one too because yeah. it's the same thing. Be the same thing, just yeah. black and white. So just color. yeah, just right? to show it's the same thing. Let's mm -hmm. let's animate it from that one. Exactly. So you're gonna use the brush you just made, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna alter this one. So we're gonna go into the brush editor. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. We're going to scroll up here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make sure on that general menu we're under brush tip. And predefined, and this is where you'll find that stamp button. So we're going to click it. Nice. Here we, we are. Rename this, right? Let's rename this to flowers. What do we want to call this? Flower flurry. Flower flurry. Animated flower flurry. Yes, animated. We've animated before. Yes, let's That'd do that. Cool. Animated flower flurry. Oh. Here it is. Right. <laughs> and all these settings will be the same, so you're not going to want to have to change anything, right? Yeah. So you got to make sure the um, create mask color is ticked off, so there's no little check mark there. And then in your brush style, we're going to keep it as animated. Mm -hmm. That's the point. And then our selection mode is going to be random, right? Yeah. So we're okay. going to keep it the same. And just as an example, this is what we were talking about, how this thumbnail isn't going to show everything you've done. Yeah. So don't be worried. You haven't done anything wrong. This is just how Krita sees, you know, the stamp. So there we go. Because yeah. you're going to make your own thumbnail later anyways. Right. So we're going to press save. Boom. Did it. We did it. Okay. So here it is right here. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Animated flower. Nice. So we're going to delete that from the scratch mm -hmm. pad. Just making it a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, just to have a nice little example. Of yeah. It. So you're all set. And this is going to be color image. You could also say alpha mask if you want it transparent, right? Yeah. That was something so that's alpha mask right? if you want it transparent mm -hmm. or to be whatever oh, sorry, color yeah. mm -hmm. really um, that you choose. Mm -hmm. Color image makes it so it's that black and white look. That's cool. So that keeps that, which is really nice. That is nice. You can experiment with this too. So lightness map, you can mm -hmm. see what it kind of does and it has different effects. Mm -hmm. So just as an it's example. kind of like a, a, a bit of both. Lightness map is kind of like that, you know, alpha, you know, plus a little bit of the darkness. It's really quite nice. Yeah. Cool effects. Very cool. So there's also gradient too. Mm -hmm. There you go. So see, super cool. And that also uh, preserves that alpha too. So. If it's white, if there's white in your uh, in those layers, that'll be transparent. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so even in a black and white image, we mm -hmm. set it to color image to mm -hmm. show 
and it's that mm -hmm. black and white exactly. color image. Yeah. And because it's the same effects and we actually very much like those that effect, we'll, we'll probably keep like to it, that yeah. too. That's actually really nice. But to show again, uh, if you don't like that it's transparent, you know, go, you can go into opacity, make sure that's unchecked. If you do like it, you can check it. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with size. Mm -hmm. um, if you, you don't know. want it to be pressure sensitive, yeah. take it on, take it off. Yeah, so you right. can just change, keep it to that one, one size. size. Exactly. So you can always mm -hmm. change it. Yeah. So let's keep it to that one size. Yeah. This, for this version, ah, so that that yeah, you know, so it makes it. I don't know. Different. It's, I, I like, like that. It. it looks so it's different. Yeah. That's cool. So it's one size. There All right, go. let's do okay. that. So to save it now that we have it to what we like, mm -hmm. we're going to go up here to save new brush preset. Mm -hmm. Click on that. We're going to change the name mm -hmm. of our brush. Let's call Animated it. Animated Flower Flurry. Yes. Right? That's the name. Awesome. And we're going to go down to load from Icon Library. And we're going to scroll all the way down. Do you see that little brown stamp? It's kind of cool. Looks like it's made out of wood. <laughs> Press OK. And then this is the little example space for your thumbnail. So you know what's happening with your stamp. There you go. Nice. That's nice. That was good. <laughs> no, that's a good job. That's a good job. All right. And then Press you save, just right? save. Boom. There now you go. have your stamp. So mm -hmm. if you want to look for it, you can go into all. Because it's alphabetical. Because Ours that... happens to be in the A zone. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And two, if you want to put a tag to it to find it in um, one of the tags, you mm -hmm. can assign it to tag. Right click on your mouse, go to assign to tag, and you can go all the way down to textures. And it will be with all the other stamps too. Yeah. Super cool. Can you give an example on the comic of what that one looks like? Heck yeah. Here we go. All right. So Super to nice. show mm -hmm. with the flowers. Mm -hmm. It's kind of small because this oh, is what yeah. happens. It, it's all specifically associated with how big your image is. Let's just make it super huge. Make it a thousand or something like that. I don't know. There we go. It'll be big. It's okay. Give it a try. See? So you can actually make it as big as you want, small as you want, things like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And see how you can totally add this into a comic or a, an image if you're, you know, painting or anything like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I think it's really fun. We've made so many different types. Mm -hmm. And it's just so funny. So even the image <laughs> sparkles just to show for fun. Yeah. So... There you go. Oh, uh, if you press, if you go back to this one, this is what happens. Um, if you, when you're in this brush, since we actually made, uh, since we actually made um, the um, animated sparkles into, you oh, have to yes. reverse it and bring it back to its original format. By pressing that button by up there. By pressing that format. So it's fine. So it's not a problem. Nothing, nothing bad happened. Yeah. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like with the animated sparkles. Nice. So you go into town with that. Super. That's fine. I could be here all day, honestly. <laughs> I, I really could. So okay. Now that you've made it, how's that? Right? Congratulations. You go. had fun and you can make so many. So there's so many options and so many things you can experiment and play around mm -hmm. with with um, animated stamp brushes. Mm -hmm. So there's so much you can really do with that. Exactly. It's pretty much whatever you wanted to do. You can tailor this to whatever illustrations you're creating, or if you're doing comics or manga, you can create your own custom ones, you know, that are unique to you. And that's kind of like the beauty of this, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moss Charmly out. out. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. And have fun making animated stamp brushes. Yes.